For this experiment, we're going to be making water filters and looking at how effective water filters are depending on what they're made of. And for this experiment, um, we're going to make simple water filters using plastic bottles. So first thing you have to do is take a plastic bottle and cut it in half. So very carefully with a scissors, just take the plastic bottle and cut it just roughly in half, just so you have enough to make a filter. And you do this twice with two bottles. Now, so we're going to do make two filters today. We'll do one with sand and one with sand and charcoal and it's to demonstrate how absorbent um, sand and charcoal are and how well they can filter water. So you have your two filters. Um, you'll take some water that has some food colouring in it and this is just so we can see how effective um, charcoal and sand are at removing substances from water. You don't need much food dye in the water, about one to two drops per litre. So that's important if you have too much food dye in it, the experiment won't work. The first uh, filter we'll make up will be the sand filter. So we take our bottle and some cotton wool and you want to stuff it into the base of the bottle and so this will hold everything in place. So you take some cotton wool and you can use a pen or whatever to just stuff it into the bottom. Don't pack it too tightly or the water won't run through, but just tight enough to make sure that it won't move. So then our first filter will be of sand only. So we take our um, sand and we want to pour a layer about two to three centimetres thick into the filter. Then what you want to do is we're going to make up our sand and charcoal filter. So to do that, take our second bottle and once again we will fill it with cut the base of it with cotton wool. This time we're going to use sand and charcoal and we're going to start by putting our layer of sand in first. And then we're going to add a layer of charcoal, so about two to three centimetres of charcoal as well. And then what you want to do next is to take cotton wool and place it over the top of both the charcoal and the sand. And this will stop the charcoal and sand from floating away or floating when you place the, the liquid in. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pass some of our coloured water through our two filters. And when doing this, we're going to just pass them into some clean beakers. And if you do this over white paper, you'll be able to see the results an awful lot better. So we'll start off with our sand and we just start pouring the water. Pour it gently and try and aim for the centre of the cotton wool. And next you take your charcoal filter and once again aiming for the center of the cotton wool okay now after filtering the water what you should observe is that the sand filter failed to remove the food coloring from the water but with the sand and charcoal filter, you can see we have a, a nice clean water sample. So the greater filtration ability of the charcoal is due to its surface area. Activated charcoal or charcoal in, in general is very porous and has a huge surface area. One gram of charcoal has a surface area of about 500 meters squared, which is about the size of two tennis courts put together. So this huge surface area enables for absorption of impurities out of water.